Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Yeah? This laptop came from a local repair shop, not charging. Now, when you see a laptop with USB-C, what do you check first? The USB-C port. Let's have a look under the microscope. So check that on the back, we can see the bend pins. So you have one bend pin there, and uh, on the other side you have another pin which is missing. But probably you can't see it. So that's the problem with this laptop. So, can we change the USB-C port? I mean, it should not be that hard, right? Let me open the laptop quickly. So we open the laptop, that's a, a nice motherboard, right? So check here, proper nice one. The M2 drive, the RAM memory. What is here? Nothing. Okay. Good. Now we need access to the charging port, which is here. And that's the charging port. Okay, we do have to disconnect the battery. Heat and electronics is not a good combo. So we remove the battery. Now, in order to replace the port, I think uh, we can just lift the motherboard, right? Yeah, let's uh, let's open the screws around here. Okay, so just you know, just a little bit bending the board on the middle, and you will be able to take out the to take out the port. So how we are replacing this charging port? First, we need something under. And probably the heat sink is a good idea because it's soft. Yeah, we need something soft. Now the next step is to take out the charging port. So how we are taking out the charging port? Max temperature 480 degrees, around 50% air. Yeah, it's like a quick injection. Yeah, that's what you want to take the the charging port out quickly. Let me go under the microscope. Okay, so that's the charging port. Let's remove the charging port. With 480 degrees, you should be able to remove the port quickly. You can see the missing pin there. Okay, so we remove the charging port. Now let's lower the temperature of the solder. Usually I'm not doing it, but it will be easy if you will be doing. So I'm using a solder wire with a melting temperature of 190 degrees. Yeah, It's not like a low melting uh, a solder wire, but you know, 190 is better compared with probably what manufacturer use here. So how is looking for you? Hmm? It's looking good. I mean, we have flux, we have everything there. Let's come with a new charging port. We have here a brand new charging port. You can buy them from eBay. It's about five pounds each. And we have the pins there. Everything is fine, yeah? So how we are soldering the port without actually melting the port? Let's lower the temperature to 380 degrees. 380 degrees. Let's heat up the board. The solder, it will start uh, melting. So now all you have to do, yeah, it is melting. You have to put a port here. You can see, very simple. Okay, so the charging port, it's on place. Yeah, it is, but it's pushed by the heatsink. The heatsink from the back. Okay, no problem, that's not a problem. Let's use some flux, yeah? That's the moment where actually you need some flux. I'm gonna use my Wharton flux. Good. Flux is good. Now let's solder the port, finally.
So check that. A each pin is soldered properly. You can see. Good. Now let's do a little bit of rework here. You can see. We need a little bit more solder. You see the solder is not getting onto the port, but just, you know, heat it and uh, it will do it. Perfect. Yeah. And now the bottom one. Perfect. Eventually you can use some solder here. Now we can clean it. You can use a earbud. You know, it's not it for clean, but you know, just to make it nice. Actually, I don't try to make a job like, you know, just as the, fa the manufacturer. So uh, if you look, you can't spot that charge board was replaced. I mean, it doesn't look good. I mean, I want to, if someone check, you know, just to see, look, I put a lot of solder here, a lot of solder here on the sides. I mean, I really try to go like an extra mile for the customer. Good, now let's put the board back. So what do you think? It's time for testing? Mm -hmm. Let's plug the charger. The current, it will tell us if it's charging or not. Plug in the charger. The meter is coming on. That means it's a good connection there. 19 volts, 2.1 amps. So the laptop is charging fine. Moving the charging port solid you can see the orange light there you can check if the laptop is coming on pressing the power button the fan is spinning we have to wait probably a little bit because uh, we removed the bios battery so the bios got reset and we have picture and the laptop is working yeah time and setting yeah it's fine Press F1, no, escape to continue. Escape. Hmm. Why the keyboard is not working? Escape or F1? No, it's not working. So what did we forget? So we plug this cable, yeah? Here is a connector, is nothing plugged in. Here is nothing plugged in. Don't tell me the keyboard is plugged on the other side of the motherboard. Don't tell me that, really? lol we have to take the keyboard out okay so we slide the keyboard now let's leave the keyboard lol the keyboard was unplugged i can't believe i forgot about the keyboard yeah it's my fault i forgot about the keyboard
keyboard back, let's slide it back. It is slided back. Let's put the screws. Now let's put the buttons. Perfect. Perfect. Now let's test it. Let me plug the charger. It's okay, you know, doing mistakes. It's uh, human. It's fine. I forgot about the keyboard. So pressing the power button, and we do have lights on the keyboard, and we have picture on the screen. And now we can press uh, escape to continue. Yeah, it's working fine. And should load the windows. Yeah. Charging fine, over 2 amps charging current. All good. Okay. So, uh, what we learn? So, first, don't do the same mistake like me if you are doing this. This is a T480S uh, Lenovo ThinkPad. Yeah. If you take the motherboard out, first take the keyboard out and unplug the keyboard. And after that, you can uh, lift the motherboard, you can uh, just slightly, you know, bend it and take out the, 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 the port and uh, replace the port. But take the keyboard first, yeah? Okay? Good, great, fantastic. So hopefully this uh, video will be helpful for you. I will uh, stop here. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.